One of the greatest battles of the European war has been the battle for oil, that lifeblood of an army without which the invasion of Europe would never have been possible. We've heard of the thousand mile pipeline system throughout Britain, but how was enough oil and petrol to be got across the channel to maintain the great invasion of 1944? The answer to this master problem is contained in one of the war's greatest stories of British ingenuity, Operation Pluto, P-L-U-T-O, standing for Pipeline Under the Ocean. The idea of a flexible pipeline on the basis of a submarine cable was first discussed in 1942 between Mr. Geoffrey Lloyd, Minister in Charge of the Petroleum Warfare Department, and Lord Louis Mountbatten, then Chief of Combined Operations. The result was an experimental pipeline made of lead with special flexible covering known as the haze. A trial length of the haze pipeline was then laid across the Bristol Channel by combined operations personnel. The experiment worked in spite of difficulties and petrol was delivered successfully from Swansea to North Devon and Cornwall. Another type of pipeline, the Hamel, was also being tried out. Engineering firms had a scheme for welding steel pipe into any given length with enough flexibility to enable it to be wound onto a large floating drum. Very soon, secret yards began to be filled with three-quarter mile lengths of this amazingly flexible steel pipe, all ready to be welded into continuous lengths of more than 30 miles. HMS Persephone was fitted with a huge drum for winding the pipeline direct from the yard. Thanks to the far-sightedness of the Premier, who ordered absolute priority for the work, the fantastic scheme had developed into a mighty plan. D-Day 1944 the invasion of France and the great test for Operation Pluto. The responsibility for laying the great lengths of pipe was borne by the Royal Navy, whose pipe-laying drums, known as HMS Conundrums, were soon engaged in laying the first petroleum supply line across the English Channel. Specially fitted barges were used to run the ends of the line ashore to be connected with a pumping station. In secret places along the English coast, these high pressure stations were constructed and camouflaged in the most unlikely buildings, such as pleasure grounds and seaside villas. the armies pressed in land, Pluto lines were quickly established across the narrow part of the channel, carrying the bulk petroleum where it was most needed for the advance into Belgium and Holland. Helped by the flamethrowers of the Petroleum Warfare Department, Boulogne Harbour was captured and still more pipelines brought across the vital supplies of oil which was soon flowing at the rate of a million gallons a day from the Mersey to the Rhine. The great operation was complete and all along our vast front the mechanized masses rolled forward to victory. By the achievement of Operation Pluto, British brains and drive had carried out a most brilliant and daring feat without which war might still be raging over the continent of Europe.